Hey ladies, what's going on? It's Marissa from Marissa's Makeup Corner. I'm super excited to be here with you tonight. I cannot wait to show you my best tips and tricks for mastering the 3D Fiber Lashes Plus. Sorry about that, I'm a little backwards. This is the box that it comes in when you get it. And it just slides out here. Guess what? This is not a model. This is a real life unique presenter. We don't use any models. All of our unique presenters um, get nominated to be in the catalog and on our product um, packaging. When you open it, there's like a little flap here. When you open it up, it just tells you the directions here, the steps that it takes. Gel fiber gel, that is the step I want you to remember. If you guys are jumping in, um, you know, Later in this video, that's totally fine. You can watch the replay. No big deal, but shout out and say hello as you're jumping on. I can see uh, when you open this up, you get it in a cute little pouch here, and you also get another um, little pamphlet that just gives you the directions again and then a picture of our bamboo charcoal mask, which is amazing. We're going to talk about it later in the week. Hey, Amy. Um, okay. So I'm just going to jump right into it, okay? Uh, 3D Fiber Lashes Plus, a little bit different than the mascara that you're used to wearing, I promise. Um, it's a little bit of a learning curve, guys, because you're working with fibers and our normal mascaras don't have that in there. But I promise the fibers are where the magic is. So when you take your uh, mascara out of your um, little pouch here, you're going to have two tubes, okay? One is the transplanting gel. That's the longer tube. And one is the fibers. Our fibers are made out of nylon, okay? This is a naturally based mascara. It's made in the United States of America. Whoop, whoop. And what you're gonna do is, this is a three-step process, okay? Unless you want more than one coat of these fibers. But you're always gonna start and end with the gel. That is the most important step that you are ever going to have for this whole process. You need to coat your lashes with the gel so the fibers have something to stick to, and you need to seal with the gel so that the fibers are not all over your face, which, by the way, I did the first time I ever wore this mascara uh, back a year and a half ago. I didn't read the directions. I was like, oh, directions? Who needs that? This is mascara. I can put it on. No. No, because I didn't do it right. So, here is the transplanting gel wand. It is a straight edge wand. Um, if you used our previous mascara formula, it was a tapered wand and uh, it made it a little bit more difficult to get all the product on your lashes. I find that I love this wand the most. I'm just going to show off the fibers here. You'll see uh, they are a little unruly here, okay? I'm going to show you how to fix that um, during this video, but we're just going to jump right in and get started. So I'm going to start off with my gel. Oh, I'm going to actually zoom this in. Sorry. Okay, so my face is really big right now, but I want you guys to be able to see what's going on with uh, this mascara. So I zigzag my wand. I find that that separates my lashes the best, and it also coats them really well. Um, I always start from the bottom to the tips, and I like to get a really good healthy coat of this gel on so that those fibers really have something to stick to, you guys. Um, it's really, really important to work on one eye at a time, okay? So I don't want you to put the gel on and then go over to the other eye and start putting more gel on that eye. I want you to just stay on this right eye. And I always get mascara all over the top of my lid. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but I do. So... When you're zigzagging like that, it just helps to pull those lashes out and really bring them out. And you can tell, like, I don't have any lashes, okay? It's ridiculous. But when I put this gel on, look at the length I'm already getting just from the gel. And I do have customers that just wear the gel. And then when they want to really amp up their look, they put on some fibers. So the fibers. This is where it gets tricky, you guys. Um, you're going to take your fibers wand, okay? And you know, these fibers look all crazy. Then you're going to take this on the back of your hand, and I want you to roll this wand. Just roll it, okay? You're going to tighten everything up. You're going to go in. On the first coat, I always go from the middle of my lashes to the tips, okay? I don't go all the way down to my waterline. You just stay the middle. You get it on your lids too all the time? Yeah. 
I'm ridiculous. I always end up having to clean it up. Okay, now do you see that length and the fullness that I'm getting out of just that first coat of fibers? And typically this is where I'll stop. I will typically do one coat on a normal day, but I mean, just look at the difference that I have there, you guys. Now, my second tip to you is if you're gonna do more than one coat on any of your lashes, I want you to leave your wand out because what happens is you're sticking that wand back in, you're getting more of those unruly fibers and you don't wanna have to keep doing that, okay? Plus you're gonna get a lot of fibers on this brush that you don't need. So just stick that over here uh, because if you hold this in your hand and you take the wand out of here, sometimes you're gonna mess up and you're gonna stick your uh, gel wand in your fibers, which I've done three times already, okay? Um, and what that's gonna do is dry out your uh, your gel, so you don't want that. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave this eye alone for a little bit. I'm gonna let those kind of marinade, get happy together, and I'm gonna go in on my left eye. And I'm just gonna do that same process. We're gonna really coat those lashes. Um, my left eyelashes are a little bit more unruly than my right eyelashes, so sometimes they get a little tangled or they don't wanna go the right way. You can also curl your lashes before you do this, ladies. Um, I do not. I have fairly curly lashes to begin with, so I just leave them. Um, and you can tell I've already got that lift and the curl there. If you have straight lashes, go ahead. Curl them and then put your gel on. And the other thing I want you to remember, a great tool to have with this mascara is a lash comb. Now, a lot of people don't like to use them for whatever reason. Lash combs are great tools, you guys. They made them for a reason. The professionals use them. I use it when my lashes get crazy. Sometimes you just gotta put your lashes where they need to go, okay? You gotta put them in their place. Ugh, look at this gel. It's so ridiculous, you guys. So much length, just a one thing. And there we go, I got mascara all over my top lid again. I'm a hot mess. Okay, so we've got that gel on. I'm gonna go back in, and I'm not gonna have to do anything with this. If you get a little unruly um, fibers again, you're just gonna roll that again on the back of your hand, and you're gonna go in mid to tips. Okay? And you can just brush that along a couple of times. And now you're gonna let that side sit for a little bit. And I'm gonna show you two coats, the difference that two coats makes, okay? On my very short eyelashes. If you've got long eyelashes already, this is gonna be like va va voom. Okay, now normally if I was done with my lashes, all I would do is I would go in and I would put one more coat of this uh, transplanting gel on my lashes to seal those fibers in. I am still going to put another coat of gel on because I want to put another coat of fibers on. The thing I just want you to remember is you're always starting and ending with gel, okay? And I still want you to do that zigzag motion. Now, some of you may be noticing some of those fibers are coming off. That's okay. Don't panic, because we haven't sealed them in completely yet. So, as you're doing the sealing process, you are probably gonna lose a couple of your fibers. Don't panic. My lashes still look fabulous, right? I mean, I'm not losing all of them, I'm just losing a couple. That's not a big deal, they brush right off. I wear contacts, these do not bother my contacts. I have a lot of girls ask those questions. And really girls, if you have questions while we're on this video, I can see your comments, so go ahead and comment for me. Okay, now, I've got that second coat of gel on my lashes. And I'm gonna go back in with these fibers one more time. But what I want you to remember, when you're going in on your second coat, I just want you to stay on the tips of your lashes, okay? And because I did not put this fiber wand back in the fiber tube, I don't really have to do anything with it. Okay, look at that. Do you see that? That's two coats on this eye, one coat on this eye. Now, you're just gonna brush those fibers off, okay? No big deal, see, they're gone. No big deal, but do you see the length you get? 
in just that second coat and I've already got really short eyelashes so I'm getting a lot of extra length but the thing I want you to remember is just stick to those outer tips when you're doing a second or a third coat you don't need to go in the middle of your lashes you've already got that fullness from the first coat and if you continue to go mid to tip with that uh, those fibers you're gonna make your lashes really heavy and it gets hard to seal them in so don't do that okay if you're noticing that you've got a lot of fallout from those fibers it's because you're putting too many fibers on your lashes roll them on the back of your hand always roll that wand on the back of your hand you're gonna tighten them up you're gonna get all the excess off and you're gonna just put on the nice um, nicely padded down um, fibers and that's just gonna make everything easier in your life so I'm going to go back in on the other eye. Now if you notice that your lashes start to stick together a little bit or for whatever reason, you can go in with your lash comb. We have a really great lash comb. It's actually metal instead of plastic, so you do have to be really careful with your eyes um, because it's a sharper comb. So I'm just going back in with that gel. And I really want you to be aggressive with the gel okay don't be afraid to use a lot of it because you want to seal in those lashes and you can even ooh, do the tops of your lashes like this with that gel if you're really concerned about getting them sealed I don't typically do that typically I just do this bottom part but I do know other presenters and other customers that do the tops of their lashes as well okay so I've got my my next healthy coat on my left eye and again we are just gonna stick to the tips of our lashes here we're not going mid we're just sticking to the tips it's gonna give you the length that you want and you're not putting this fiber wand back into the bottle until you are done with it okay that is my second tip or my third tip I don't know what number I'm on. It's my tip though. Don't put it back in the bottle until you're done with it. Yeah, rolling rolling this fiber wand is the best trick ever because look what happens. You put that wand back in and look how clumpy all those unruly little uh, fibers get back on there and then you just have to keep doing it and it's unnecessary, you know? Okay, so there you go. Two coats of 3D Fiber Lash Mascara on my lashes what do you guys think I mean I think this stuff is so amazing and then I put my two coats on but I'm gonna go back in with uh, my gel and I am just gonna seal those puppies up because I don't want those fibers going anywhere throughout the day and like I said don't be sparse with this uh, gel you guys if you're getting fiber fallout it's because you didn't seal your fibers well or you have too much on your lashes those are my secrets those are my tips and tricks so if you guys have questions let me know okay um, but that's basically it also do not pump don't go back and forth with this if you need more product on your wand I want you to gently just roll it in a circle okay when you pump your mascara wand into uh, the tube you're pushing air into it and that's just going to dry your product out quicker. Okay, that's it. That's it. Epic lashes. Didn't take that long. If you girls have questions, you can certainly comment on this video. Um, I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I'm going to talk to you guys all tomorrow. We're going to talk eyeshadow applications. So be ready, okay? I will talk to you girls soon. Thank you.